welcome to cake and it's special this week i'm going to make a snake cake now you're probably wondering where i got the idea for this cake so i would like to introduce you to my snake this is zeus i've had zeus for about six years now and he is a lovely boy so i thought i'm going to have to cake him okay so here we go my snake cake I started with two 10 inch chocolate and vanilla marble cakes that I sandwiched together with chocolate buttercream. Even though I will be carving this cake I'm going to give it a very light crumb coat anyway because then I can use this as a blank canvas because I want to use my knife to score around the sides of the cake so that I know where to carve. I'm happy with the line I'm going to start carving my cake I'm going to carve it so following the lines taking a V shape out so it's two diagonal lines going in and then back out to create the rounded edges going on the inside Do this following your line all the way around and also around the top of your cake as well. you're happy with this you can start rounding off your cake take your time with it round off the top edge the bottom edge around all the body parts in between the lines carve mine down further in some areas so it wouldn't be the same size on both layers. When Zeus is asleep and he's all bundled up, he's not asleep in perfect rings going up, you know, he's all over the place. You're a bit of a slob, aren't you? When this is done, I'm going to do a crumb coat with some more of my chocolate buttercream and then I'm going to pop this cake in the fridge for about 20 minutes.
Now I'm happy that this layer is cooled, I'm going to add another layer of chocolate buttercream. Making sure to take my time with this layer, I want it to be as smooth as possible. I use my small offset spatula and a flexible smoother as well. So for the base colour of this cake, I dyed a really pale yellow, because if you look at Zeus's tummy, it is a pale yellow, and it also shows through all over his body. He's not just solid colours everywhere. Before I cover this cake in fondant, I make the end of the tail and the head out of fondant, and I put them on the cake directly. So this way, when I cover the cake in fondant, this can all remain one piece because snakes don't have seams. I roll it out and drape it over covering the entire cake immediately smoothing into them grooves as you go. The longer you leave it, the more your fondant is going to dry out and then when you start to try and push it into them little grooves that you've carved, your fondant is just going to tear. So immediately, as soon as you put it on, smooth, smooth, smooth. When I'm trimming the fondant around the base, I am trimming it away, but I'm also tucking it under with my knife, just so that the snake is rounded underneath. Because there are no straight edges on a snake at a Zeus. Once all that is done, I use some sculpting tools to make some eye sockets, some nostrils and a mouth. I'm happy that my fondant is smooth enough I'm going to texture my snake cake with an impression mat that I've got. I'm going to do this all over the surface of the cake and when that's done I'm going to leave it aside for a while so that that texture can then set into my fondant because if I start painting straight on top of it I'm just going to rub all of that texture away. So if you look at Zeus, he's not just a black and orange snake, he has different colours throughout him. He's got bits of yellow, different colours of orange, blacks, browns, and I really wanted that to come through. So once my fondant is set, what I do is I 
take a clean sponge and I dab on some different shades of orange and brown. To make the paint that I used to do the base coat on this cake, I used pale orange petal dust and some clear food grade alcohol. So because I've used the alcohol, that will evaporate very quickly, which will leave me a dry surface so that I can carry on painting. The areas where shadows would form, I use some dry orange and brown petal dust just to create darker areas. So when I'm happy with that, I take some darker petal dust, some more clear food grade alcohol. I then just start to paint these darker orange patterns on my snake cake. Again, working your way all the way around, all the way up to the face. When I'm doing the, the darker orange pattern going around my snake cake, I'm just dabbing it on with a paintbrush because, again, it's not just solid colours on Zeus, so there shouldn't just be solid colours on my cake. Some areas will be more concentrated, some areas will be more diluted, and it will look much better. Once I've done that, I just take some black food gel and I use a smaller paintbrush to just dab around the outsides of the darker orange patterns that I've created. I don't do it all the way round because again on Zeus there are some areas where it's just not there. There's some areas where black lines just don't meet up so that's how I've done it on my cake. Use fondant to add some eyes and a tongue. And then I just grind up some digestive biscuits and I use that as some sand to go around the base of my snake cake. And there you have it, snake cake. This was one of my favourite cakes I've ever made. I absolutely loved it. So thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you next Wednesday. And until then, please subscribe and share. And let me know what you think below in the comments. Okay, bye. Bye. Can you say bye?